Okay, I've been getting this actually emailed a lot, so I thought, hey, why not make a video? So it says, assume that we want to construct a confidence interval, do one of the following as appropriate, find the critical T value or the Z value, and then state neither the normal distribution or T applies. All right, so it says we're gonna do a confidence interval, 90%. The population standard deviation is not known. That is your key right there. When you do not know the population standard deviation, because that's sigma, not an S, you always use a T. So I already know I'm going to use a T. All right, so now I want you to find the critical value. And any time you find a critical value, you always go to the table. Or I'm going to actually show you how you can do it in StatCrunch as well. So here we have 56 players, and based off of a table, so I just go and Google a T table. I kind of wanted to see that as well. All right, 56 players and 90%. A confidence interval is a lower and an upper, so it's a two-tail 90%, which would be 0 0.10, 1 minus 0 0.90. And then the degrees of freedom is the sample size minus 1. So 56 minus 1 would be 55. The problem is a lot of tables aren't going to have every single value that you're looking for. So typically you pick the value that's closest. So it looks like if I'm at this point, where'd I go, point, 0 0.10 for 90%, the closest value looks to be 1.671. Now let's see if that will even... What the heck is going on there? Let's see if that'll even take that as the answer. All right. The problem is probably it wants something a little closer. Oh, well, it could just be because I didn't run right. <laughs> but sometimes, and it, and this one worked, it says, good, good job. My Roomba's coming. It's going to get loud. But sometimes it wants a more exact answer. So what you could do is you could go into StatCrunch, and then in StatCrunch, you could go to Stat, Calculators, T, because this is a T, and here, notice the degrees of freedom. What did we have once again? Here we can get a more exact value, 55. And I could either, what I could do here is I could, I, I'm going to blank this out, but Remember, this needs to be in the middle, so probably doing the 90% would be better to do between, okay? Um, some of you that I've emailed this to, I actually had you do, the, do it this other way, but the between now makes more sense because it would be in a confidence interval. And then I could put the 0 0.9. And look, I get a more exact. It just so happened due to rounding um, that this worked out okay. But you can see the 1.67 as I round. Um, the T table is great, you know, but if you start to learn how to use these calculators in StatCrunch, just makes it where you don't have to go find a table. Because notice this problem didn't even give me the table. Okay, so I would have had to go out and go to my book or uh, actually find a table. So hopefully that helps on this one that I'm getting asked a lot.